What's up guys, it's Cam Marquez, and congratulations on starting your adventure to master astral projection. So, in this masterclass, the first thing I want you guys to uh, get prepared when you're starting this out is uh, I have a reading list for you. So there are a few things that I want you to read. The first book is going to be Astral Dynamics by Robert Bruce. It's an excellent book. Uh, it goes into extreme detail on what astral projection is, how to do it, and tons more uh, resources and uh, tips and tricks on how to leave your body that I, I touch on a lot of those things, but he expounds exponentially on those things. So if you want more resources and information, that is a great book. You can also read Journeys Out of the Body by Robert Monroe and Journey of Souls. Now, Journey of Souls is a case study book. It goes case by case. Uh, it's about a hypnotherapist who basically hypnotizes people to have past life regressions. It's an excellent book. Gives you amazing information about the spirit world, afterlife, and the reincarnation process if you are curious. Those are just some things that I want you guys to read over just to get your minds churning in the right direction for what we're going to do in these uh, masterclass videos. Since this is the preparation video, I want you guys to start by indoctrinating yourself in everything to do with astral projection. This is very important. When I first astral projected, I was digesting tons of information pertaining to spirituality, meditation, astral projection, but I was getting the information in bits and pieces and I didn't know what was real and what wasn't, so it took a long time to figure out what actually worked. So in this masterclass, I'm gonna give you the tips and tricks that actually work to get you from point A to point B fast. I want you to be able to astral project within the first three days to a week of attempting these tricks and tips in this program so that you have your first trip and you know what you're doing and you get the experience from then on out. So indoctrinate yourself, join forums, uh, listen to other people's first astral projection experience, what techniques work for them. Again, not every technique is gonna work for everyone because we're all different, we all acclimate to different things. So indoctrinate yourself. Get a journal, write about your experiences, your dreams, everything. We're gonna to touch on all of that stuff a little bit later on. In this masterclass, you are going to learn how to relax. And I don't mean just like laying in bed and relaxing, I mean like the pure, deep relaxation that leads to deep meditation, and then on to trance state. Now trance is the core of all spiritual practice, in my opinion. Trance state is what the shamans get into, it's what the Buddhists get into, the Hindus, it's what that Eastern meditation practice really centers around, is trance. And so we go very far in depth about that because from trance, we then move into energy work and astral projection is about energy. So I teach you about astral projection in the form of energy work and then we go into lucid dreaming because Lucid dreaming is just an excellent technique. Uh, if you're able to lucid dream, nine times out of 10, if you can lucid dream consistently, you can astral project from a dream, and that's one of the easiest methods. We go into that in this uh, masterclass. Also, I wanna teach you guys the direct method to astral projection, going from a conscious state to a completely out of body state and returning into your body. That is, it's a life-changing experience and I teach you the easiest method, the method that caused me to astral project for the very first time, the easiest method on the books that people don't want you to know for whatever reason. Um, it's, it's a no brainer. So I wanna break the stigma that astral projection is something that is occultic, that's mysterious, that's satanic, that's something you can't attain unless you're in some secret, mysterious school somewhere or being taught in the Himalayan mountains by the Sorcerer Supreme or some business like that. Astral projection is natural. Everyone can do it. Everyone has this skill. And it's my dream and ambition to help people awaken to the reality that there are more than just their bodies. So really quick, I wanted to get into my first astral projection experience. Um, you can find this on my YouTube channel, Cal Melquez, but I just wanted to touch on a few things. Uh, I have been trying astral projection for two years. I, I've been trying to have the experience for the longest time and nothing was working. 
and I detail the exact method that I used later on in this masterclass. But the method I used, the first time I used it, it worked. And uh, of course I was very impressed. Uh, I went to bed that night after performing the technique and I woke up after a peculiar dream. And I was totally awake, I was about to get out of bed and the next thing you know I was hit by these crazy vibrations. I talk about vibrations later on in this masterclass, so don't worry. But I got hit by these vibrations and before I had actually felt them, I didn't know what they were. Now I'd always heard people talking about, oh the vibrations feel like rumbling or shaking or you know high energy vibrations moving up and down your body, this and that. But you don't know what that stuff is until you experience it yourself. It can be very frightening. Uh, the first time I felt it, I thought I was dying. I thought I had done something. I thought I was, I was about to just, just die. Honestly, that's how intense it was. And um, next thing you know, I felt like I was being pulled out of my body from my shoulders, and that I had fallen on the floor. And I didn't even know that I was actually like out of my body at first, things just had a strange bluish tint to them. And, um, you know, I got up and I looked around my room and I was like, man, that was, that was crazy, I don't know what happened. And then I looked at my bed and I saw myself laying in bed and I was like, oh my God, like I actually did it. And so from there I was like, okay, I need to double down on this. I, I need to really focus on astral projection because one, the experience is real. And if you're experiencing it, it's real to you, regardless of anything else going on in the world, you had this experience and you're making a connection to your subconscious mind that is totally different than any other conscious or waking experience. And uh, when that happened, I, I knew what I needed to do <laughs> with, with the whole of my life. So I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. It is possible. I am by no means a, uh, a natural astral projection. I, I had to work a very long time to get it. And a lot of that time I worked, the information I had just wasn't right. And so I've collected the information that works and I wanna give you that information. You can do this. It's not impossible. I'm not a savant or a genius at this. I just found what worked and I'm giving you what works. So I'm really excited for you and uh, and get ready, because we're about to get into this. See you in the next video.